hypothesis testing for the population proportion using an exact test with a binomial distribution. Example 1. We have 11 trials or 11 values in our sample and from those 11 there are two successes. So we're going to work out the probability based on this value here, the 2. H1 says less than so we work out the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 from the binomial tables. So we're going to the binomial distribution with 11 trials and where p is 0 0.4 and we're going to work out px less than or equal to 2 because this says less than. And then we compare that probability to the significance level 0 0.05. In the tables, x less than or equal to 2 has a probability of 0 0.1189. Now this probability is greater than 0 0.05. This came from the significance level. Because it's greater, we're going to accept H0 and say there's insufficient evidence to say that P is less than 0 0.4. If this probability was less than 0 0.05, we would reject H0. Example 2. H1, P greater than 0 0.3. This time we have a sample of 10 in which there were 8 successes. And because H1 says more than 0 0.3, we're going to work out px greater than or equal to 8. So we work out a probability based on this value here. But we're going to do more than or equal to 8 because this says more than. And then we compare that probability to the significance level 0 0.01. So we go to the binomial distribution with 10 trials and p is 0 0.3, the probability of success. px greater than or equal to 8 is 1 minus less than or equal to 7. And the probability here is less than 0 0.01, the significance level. And because it's less, we reject h naught and state there is sufficient evidence to say that P is greater than 0 0.3. Example 3. A two-tailed test where we have 12 trials or a sample of size 12 and there were 6 successes in those 12 trials. So the binomial distribution n is 12, p is 0 0.25. Now we need to determine whether we're going to do px less than or equal to 6 from the binomial tables or px greater than or equal to 6. We need to know a certain direction. Which one do we pick? So we start off by working out the mean of the binomial distribution. n times p. The mean of the binomial distribution is 3. Our x value here is greater than 3. So in the tables, we're going to work out px greater than or equal to 6. If the x value here was less than 3, so for example if x was equal to 2, then in the tables we would work out px less than or equal to 2. So we're working out px greater than or equal to 6. Another point to notice here, it's a two-tailed test, 
so the significance level has to be split. So we're going to work with 0 0.025. So Px greater than or equal to 6, 1 minus less than or equal to 5. So we have a probability here, 0 0.0544, which is greater than the significance level. Yeah, remember, we've split the significance level in half, so it's greater than 0 0.025. Because it's greater, we're going to accept H0 and say there's insufficient evidence to say that P is not equal to 0 0.25. Or there's insufficient evidence to say that P has changed. Question 1. N is 13. P is 0 0.3. Because this says less than in H1, and we're going to test this value, we work out Px less than or equal to 1. So that value comes from here, and the less than or equal to is based on the less than for H1. And from the tables, Px less than or equal to 1 is 0 0.0637. Significance level is 5%, so we compare that to 0 0.05. The probability we've looked up is more than 0 0.05, so we accept H0. Question 2. Let's a sample of size 15 was taken, so we have the binomial distribution. 15 trials. P is 0 0.45. This is the value that we test, and we're going to work out Px more than or equal to 10. So that value goes there, came from here, and we're doing more than or equal to because H1 says more than. So this is 1 minus less than or equal to 9. So we get 0 0.0769. This probability is less than 10%, it's less than 0 0.1, so we reject H0. Question 3, we have a random sample of size 25, P is 0 0.15, so this is the binomial table we go to. It's a two-tailed test, so we have to split the 5%. So we're going to work with 2.5% or 0 0.025. This is the value that we're going to test but we need to know whether we're going to do Px less than or equal to 7 or Px more than or equal to 7. And that's based on the mean of this binomial distribution. So we do n times p to work out the mean of this binomial distribution. So the mean is 3.75, the x value is 7, 7 is more than 3.75, so we're going to test Px greater than or equal to 7, and not this one. So more than or equal to 7 is 1 minus less than or equal to 6, which gives 0 0.0695. This probability is greater than 0 0.025, so we're going to accept H0. Question 4. 